that up. I'm deep back. In case you want to know what the back mean is for broke ass player. This is what happens when your game has run out. You see, I'm a man of bling. I'm a man of gleam, and I do have the grill to go with it. Now, I'm here to show you players how to be a player. So you can be just like me. I, I said I'm going to do this interview because uh, a lot of people don't understand how hard it is to be a player. They got their different ideas. You know, you see these boys with their pants hanging off of them. You see these guys driving these cars. They got this big road one day, but uh, they end up like I do out there on the highway. Everybody, I'm going to see how to be a player cheaply. I've been bapping ever since the day I was born. When the doctor slapped me on my tail, that's when I, how long I've been raising hell. I started out, when they put me in the incubator with the rest of them babies, I was already choosing my honeys. I had to pick up the finest thing and I guarantee it's all fine and had never been used before. Like I say, and when I hit school, I was just a babbling fool. I mean, hey, brown bagging wasn't my thing. I had hunters buying my lunch and sharing cartons of milk in the sandbox, too. Oh, shucks, now, when I was a teenager, oh, I bapped on, bapped on. I had them all in the line. I was dressed cut and fine. My car was washed. I smelt real pretty. There wasn't nothing that I couldn't do then. But, I can say, as you get older and time goes on, you learn to invest more in what your mind can do. All the ladies are still there, but I done suffered a lot of wear and tear. A lot of things, have, you know, went down the way because being a battle, you have to watch out. Because there's other players in the game. And them other players, they just don't like to see a man succeed and make it like I have. Because like I say, I got the bling. Ching, 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 ching. My name is D-Bap, not D-Baptist. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, I done been to that church, but uh, I prefer not to do my stealing in the name of the Lord. <laughs> But I have uh, taken a, quite a few women under, if you know what I mean. And and I, and, but I just want to say one thing about them boys. The ball of the day just don't know how to dress. They don't got no taste, no class. I mean, hey, you keep your pants on up around your waist. Don't have them hanging down. It, it, it remind me of time about like the guys I knew in jail. It was like, you know, you knew the guys that were putting out. They always had their pants at half mass, making it easy to uh, smack that hiney, as they say back there in the place. Another thing, all that noise they ride around that car, that boom, 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 boom. Hey. You hear him coming before they even get there. A true player, he want to move with grace, move with ease. He want to be like a stealth bomber. You don't know you're being hit by a true player to after he done dropped the bomb on you and done gone. Another thing, how come you got to have an entourage of guys 
a two player got an entourage of honeys. Now, I don't have my entourage with me today, but perhaps later on we might be able to introduce to a few of my honeys, tried bread fillers that have been to quite a few derbies. Of course, a few of them, and they are out the pasture, but they still got good mileage left on them. The best part when I look at a filly, the first thing I check out are those are those legs. You want to make sure they got good sturdy legs. Next thing I'm looking at that saddle. I want a nice big plump soft saddle to ride. Don't want none of that hard bony stuff. Mm -mm. I like my mares to be well fed. I like I like them Clydesdales. Now that's a ride there. I find the best place to go find yourself. You have to go to them pastures where you're gonna find them grazing at. Preferably a good buffet table where they can get all they can eat. Cause see, you get the gal at that all you can eat, uh, one price, and they can eat all they want. And more than likely, they uh fix you up with a little something to eat too. But hey, just find a good buffet. I guarantee you, you're going to find a filly that trough grazing off. And see, that way you can sit there and check out and see if she got that spread. Because like I say, ain't nothing like, I like big butts. Well, I find that truly for any man to be a player, he got to study. In other ways, you got to get some spread. You got to learn to read and get you some good studying habits. Not only through your books, but look at the people next to you. If you're looking at a dummy that's sitting there, he's talking loud and saying nothing, and you know that the wind is whistling through his ears, you don't want to follow him. Be a man that can sit there and judge and learn for yourself. I always admire a man that can lead himself. No matter where you might end up at, because, hey, soon or later, everybody got to ask some directions. But a man that take the initiative, even if he's dumb or stupid, if he just take the lead for himself, rather than being led by someone else. I mean, hey, I led myself down this path. Didn't nobody take me there. I led myself because I studied how to be a bat. And, hey, it takes years of practice, years of practice. But with my help, I can get you there too. Well, one thing I look at these followers, they're like clones of the leaders. If you're going to learn to be something, learn how to have your own opinion how you dress. It's just like I said about your pants and everybody I see wearing clothes bigger than what they are. Ain't nobody can go out. They don't even know how to go out and buy clothes that fit. Their shoes are bigger than what their feet are. Their pants are bigger. Their shirts are bigger. They can crawl up and hide inside the clothes. But everybody's doing the same thing. Hey, I like to see something original. Let a man create a style where, hey, at least my clothes will fit me. I mean, people these days, they got clothes where two other people get in there with them. You never know what a guy's carrying around in his pants anymore. He can have a, he can be on the deal and have another buddy inside his bridges with him. Of course, then again, that is a good idea. Hey, wait a minute, back wow. Clothes big enough to stick my honeys in my pocket. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Well, that is one advantage. Now, see, that's how you can use things the right way. If you're going to wear a sagging britches, boy, your clothes too big, at least uh, stick your girl in your britches with you. That way she can help you hold them pants up. You won't have to hold your own pants up. You know, every player's got his main lady. Now, see, this the lady here that keeps watch over my crib. See, she don't give me no fuss. I go out, stay late, I can have all my other honeys over. I tell her, this is the lady of the house. She ain't got nothing to say. She is the lady of the house. And she's always attired just like I like to see my woman in her Victoria's Secrets. But like I say, you ain't got to worry. She don't say nothing bad about me. She loves the way the Batman treat her. Now, see, the rest of my honey, they don't get to stay like she do. She don't raise no fuss, don't cuss, don't do nothing. And she, that's a good woman, very good woman. Now, see, it's the mother ones that I got in my pastor. Now, that's where, you know, you get, you, you get them different things. You got a little problem there. But, like I say, I tell any man, hey, get one good woman. Put it in the corner, because that's why I keep it. I keep it in the corner. I don't even have to use pimp stick on her. She just sits over there all day long, just be quiet. While daddy held his business. And when I come home, she's sitting there, glad to see me. And I'm glad that, hey, I ain't got to give her nothing but the roof. She's thankful for the roof over her head, the meal she don't eat, and everything else that's sweet. That's why the Batman always got one steady girl by his side. And she ain't going to never leave me. Ain't that right, baby? Really, actually, when I first met the girl, she was around the dumpster. I mean, hey, I, I, I pulled this woman out the dumpster. That's where I got her from. I said, baby, I got home for you. And ever since then, I always call her my chick on the stick. Because that's where I keep her at, on the stick. And she's always on the stick, 24-7. I brought like I say, take good care of this girl. You see, well, like I say, she don't ask much. She don't ask for clothes, fancy clothes or nothing like that. But... She does her, you know, she is in the footwear there. She likes her leather. But she, she likes that brought her from a long way. Oh, baby, oh, oh, baby, hold on, oh, excuse me. You don't treat a woman like that. I'm sorry about that, baby. She's very proud of her hair there. That's one thing to do with her, that beautiful red hair and, and those pretty green eyes and, and her silent attitude. Ain't nothing like having a woman that keeps her mouth shut. And see, that's why I try to tell you, my other girl, keep your mouth shut and you will keep the best of both worlds. You make Big Dad happy and you'll have a lot. But once you open your mouth, oh, Lord have mercy. I have to put you out. That's why she has been my longest running gal. Because, oh, no, she don't say nothing. But be glad to see me when old Daddy D. Bat walks through that door. She's always there for me. She's my chick on the stick. The only thing I have to say, I'm going to invite you folks over to show how a player live. I'll show you how at my entertainment center, my walk up, my walk through, and a few other things I, as a player, has, because every player got to have. A place to take his ladies and that would be the pride of showing you how the lifestyle of the bap lives it's better than rich and famous hey.